There is no way in the history of Adam and Eve that this dress is going to zip. Cha cha. This one is even worse than the other one. Hey, photo. And then the belly. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Guys, today's video is... <laughs> It's gonna be very exciting okay in today's video i'm going to be doing and i tried all my nigerian wedding dresses again after almost five years yes nilo kk did this video um some time ago she was trying out her wedding dress for the first time in about six years and i remember i was telling her that i'm going to do this same video but with a little spin on it i'm going to be trying out all of my nigerian wedding dresses from my introduction outfits to some of my traditional wedding dresses yes yeah I still have them then to my two wedding dresses because I had one wedding dress and I had a reception dress so without further ado without wasting your time let's not waste time okay let's get into trying this outfits and I hope for your sake and my sake that it's not gonna be an epic feel because things have changed but let's go <laughs> So this is the very first outfit we're going to be trying out today and this was my introduction dress. The lace was given to me by one of my family friends who deals in laces. If she has an Instagram handle, I'll leave it on the screen for you guys. But yeah, this was what I wore for my introduction and it was this beautiful royal blue lace dress. I can't remember who made this dress for me. I think it was um, somebody called Pascaline. If you are watching Pascaline, hi. She's been in Abuja, now she's in Potakot. But anyway, yeah, she was here when she made this for me. So yes, let's try this on and let's see if, I'm going to put a picture on the side of what it looked like on my introduction day. So let's, let's, let's wear this and see what it's going to look like if it's going to even zip because i don't even know at this point oh my god hi you guys fat is not good though like this dress zipped so effortlessly on the day i had my introduction back in 2015 now i'm not even understanding what is going on jesus christ you guys there's no way this thing can zip like it's like i can't even move my arms like I actually ripped it here, but oh my god. Woo! And then the belly, of course, you guys. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sad because this dress, I don't know if this dress has an allowance. If it does have an allowance, I'll probably open it up and see if it's with zip, you know. But for now, this dress is squeezing my bum bum, squeezing my boobs. My arms cannot move, oh my God. Anyway, this is what my introduction dress looks like as opposed to over here when I wore it and I was feeling cool. In 2015, this is what it looks like. I don't know what's gonna happen to this dress, but I'm still keeping it. Anyways, to see if we can loosen it up or do something to it for it to fit me again. But for now, no way. Okay, so this one was one of my traditional wedding dresses. My first, no, my second outfit. I can't remember who made this outfit. I think it was a brand called Sack Designs. If they are still making clothes, I will leave their handle on the screen. <sighs> you guys, this one is even worse than the other one. Like this one. Mm? Hi. Oh God, you guys. I loved this outfit so much. I can't believe that none of them are actually even entering. <sighs> the color is still so pretty. I'll leave a picture of when I wore it on my traditional wedding on the screen so you guys can see what it looked like. It was such a beautiful dress and down was so nice and flowy and cute. Like it was a mermaid style. I was such a sucker for mermaid style. All my traditional outfits and my white wedding outfits were mermaid styles. So cute and it doesn't even size me anymore. <laughs> This color was so beautiful back in 2015, December of 2015. But guys, look, I can't move my arms. I can't even think of zipping, like I said. And look how it's squeezing my boobs, my bum. Nah, this is sad, guys. Over here, I have my first outfit. Like, my, this was my first outing. Um, and it's Aqua Champ from Asaba Delta State. And this is like our cultural fabric. It's called Aqua Cha. And I loved it my own, especially because it had pink on it. I think I actually requested for it to have pink on it. And it had like this lovely bustier thing. Like, it was, I even had to hold it because it was too big for me. But I can swear that this is not going to enter me right now. So I'm not even going to try it. I'm going to bother trying this okay came with the wrapper i tied the wrapper and then the bus the bustier was like on top and it was so cute i would leave another picture here of me wearing it just in case you're interested but man guys 
yeah let's get out of this and try my second or rather this was my third traditional wedding outfit this was the one that i wore with the teeth and gay um jesse's tribal material thing tied on my head but let me try this i think this one i opened this one up um two years ago or so and it was still my size but let's try it and see okay <laughs> You guys this one is even worse and you know what's funny about this outfit do you know what is funny about this outfit i wore this outfit like about two years ago i actually opened it up from the allowance and i wore it to a wedding and it fits like a glove so i don't understand yes i wasn't pregnant then neither had i given birth but i can't really understand why it is this bad i cannot even pass like hi jesus anyway this was it it was gold it was a skirt and blouse and i loved it mm -mm. this one is saying no let's just get out of this because this is an absolute no absolutely no let me just tie my aqua chara pass so that i can talk to you guys about what is in this bag so this is my wedding dress still in the bag i got my wedding dress from brides and babies here in abuja and i loved my wedding dress you guys the dress and the veil is still in here and i haven't worn this since i got married in 2016 may 2016 so yes i'm eager to see what this looks like on me if it can still fit because i was really slim when i got married the wedding stress and all of that i really really slimmed down so i don't know if this is gonna enter me let's try it and let us see i've been trying to pull up this dress for the past five minutes and it's not passing my thigh like it's legit not passing my thigh you guys hey 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 why this is so sad like i'm legit feeling sad though i don't know why what you guys this beautiful dress i loved my dress so much it's not even passing my thigh like is that bad hey at this point i'm just going to have to sell this dress i think i've held on to this dress for way too long and i probably will never be able to wear this dress ever again so i just might have to sell it if you guys are interested in my beautiful wedding dress please send me a dm on instagram i think it's time to sell it this dress is everything and more it's so pretty let me show you guys the details of this dress really up close can you guys see those the detailings like this is the back the back was transparent all the way to the just before your bum area it was just so cute look at all those lovely details so gorgeous and then this is what the front looked like i absolutely loved my dress so much like i love my dress so much that's why i've been holding on to it for so long but guys if you're interested please hit me up in the dms and i will sell this to you at a very good price but this dress is stunning it's all lace it was an all lace dress mermaid style with embellishments and it was just gorgeous then you guys this was my reception dress i wore a short dress for my reception um just because i was just such a cool bride i didn't want to wear another long dress for my reception it doesn't make sense to me i wanted to be able to dance and have fun and everything so my dress was a short um ball not, not really ball but it was a flay dress and this one was made by bb artistry and i loved this dress so much again it was hand beaded all through and you guys this one is not even going to enter me i don't even think we should even bother trying because I don't think it's going to enter or should we just try it can you guys see all of that embellishment like it had so much so much nice embellishment on it it was so gorgeous we seem to be getting somewhere with this particular dress at least it is even entry so maybe because it's not a mermaid dress yeah this one at least this one even entered me safe at least it entered me there's no way in the history of adam and eve that this dress is going to zip cha cha there's no way like there's no way but i'm even happy that at least it entered i think it entered because it's you know a cinderella short cinderella dress but yeah this was my official reception dress and ah, if only it could zip i would still be wearing this to like parties or to like a wedding or something i think i probably would get it loosened and see if you can zip eventually if i'm gonna keep between my wedding dress and this one i probably will keep this one because i feel like there's still hope with this one the other one like <laughs> there's no hope Maybe I should even sell this one as well. I don't even know. Should I sell it? Hmm? Should I? I don't even know. If you want to buy this dress, just hit me up and I'll sell it to you. Because at this point, there really is no point keeping all of this stuff. Like, there's no point. So, yeah. Um, 
Okay, we're not going to do that again. Trying on all of these dresses was such a lot of work. Like, it was a lot of work. But I'm happy I did it. It was so much fun. The only not so fun part of this video was realizing that none of those clothes fit me anymore. None of them can zip. My wedding dress can't even pass my thighs. It's like... <laughs> Fat must die, you. Fat must die, die, die. Fat must die, die, die. That's to say. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching a crazy video like this. If you enjoyed watching, please leave me a comment down below. Make sure you subscribe. If you're not yet subscribed already. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay? Bye.